Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I am very excited to report that now Hugging Face celebrated TRL library supports yet another fine tuning method called as online DPO or online direct preference optimization. Before I show you the hands on demo as how to get this TRL installed and then how to do the online DPO on your own data set, let me first set the stage by explaining what exactly is meant by fine tuning what is this online dpo and why this is such a important milestone first and foremost trl is a library from hugging face which is a full stack library that provides a set of tools to train transformer language models with reinforcement learning from supervised fine tuning to reward modeling to various other things now let's try to simplify these concepts what exactly is fine tuning in simple words what happens is that all of these large language models no matter what the model is they are trained on a huge generic set of data but they that data and that model doesn't really reflect your own data your own requirements if you want to align the model as per your own preferences for example you just want the model to always align with your values your goals your preferences then you can create a data set and then fine tune or retrain that model as per your own data set so that for example you don't like winters so you can train the model on that item so that whenever someone asks the model about winter model would say that model doesn't like winter because you have given that preference to the model and you have trained the model on that data set that is a very high level example of course but you get the point and that is what called as direct preference optimization where you give it a preference now for the fine tuning there are a lot of methods for example if you look at this diagram and by the way this and this diagram i have taken from maxim labone who's a really um, good researcher out there and i have interviewed him for my channel if you're interested just search for his name on the channel okay so now what exactly here is happening is that this is a diagram for the ppo algorithm which is the proximal policy optimization now don't get too much worried about the naming here so all what it is happening here is that we are fine tuning the models from human preferences that is what is generically at high level called as uh, reinforcement learning with human feedback where they have presented this framework where a reward model is trained to approximate human feedback and then this reward model is used to optimize the fine-tuned models policy using the proximal policy algorithm now the core concept in this diagram is revolving around making smaller incremental updates to the policy as larger updates can lead to instability the problem where is that there is a lot of loss divergence, it is difficult to reproduce and it is quite expensive to be honest. That is where a new technique emerged a few months back called as direct preference optimization or DPO. DPO simplifies this by treating the task as a classification problem. It only uses two models, train model or a copy of it called the reference model. During the training, the goal is to make showed that the trained model outputs higher probabilities for preferred answers than the reference model and we also wanted to output lower probabilities for rejected answer so what it what happens is that we give it a prompt we give it a preferred answer and a rejected answer and then we fine tune the model so that model always know what answer is the acceptable one as per our own alignments and preferences so that is what uh, direct preference optimization is now recently and very very recently this new technique has emerged called as online dpo or online direct preference optimization it's a new alignment method from deepmind to boost the performance of llms with online dpo data is generated on the fly by the trained model instead of pre-collected for each prompt two completions are generated with the reward model selecting the preferred one what this approach does is it eliminates the need for a pre-collected preference data set 
it is generated online and that is really amazing it also enables continuous model improvement and it yields better results from a traditional dpo so that is what has been now merged in this hugging faces trl library and that is what we are going to do in this video we will install trl library from the source from the recent branch and then we will see how to fine tune a model on online data, uh, dpo data set before i do that let me give a huge shout out to best compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on range of gpus so this is my ubuntu terminal with 22.04 and this is my gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 okay so let me clear the screen first up let me create a virtual environment with coda let's wait for it to get activated the virtual environment is created let's install all the prerequisites here i'm installing tar torch transformers and a lot of other stuff so let's wait for it to finish and don't worry about the code i'm also going to provide you the link to the code which i'm using from start to end all the prerequisites are done next up after clearing the screen let's git clone the repo of trl and the reason why i am doing it is that this feature is very very new so we have to check out the recent branch where they have committed this if you're using it like after maybe a couple of weeks then you might not have to do it you can install it from the source but at uh, it i don't think so it has been merged into the main branch so that is why i have switched to that uh, commit hsa so let me install it from that branch let's wait for it shouldn't take too long and these are the joys of working at the bleeding edge anyway so it is installed now let's now launch our jupyter notebook because that is where i'm going to install it and then see how it works so let's wait for it to launch it in the browser and then i will show you how you can use this trl library to do online dpo on your own data set so our Jupyter Notebook is launched. Let me paste the code here. Now, what this code is doing, it is simply importing the libraries which we have installed. Here you can see. And then it is just defining some of the dummy samples, grabbing our tokenizer, grabbing our model. I'm just going to go with this small LM with 135 million parameter just to make things faster and easier. And then we are defining. Our, so. First up, this is the model which we are use, looking to optimize or fine tune. And then this is the reference model, same model. And this is going to calculate the KL divergence again. KL divergence measures how different two probability distributions are. And uh, this mainly helps AI model understand uncertainty and similarity. Okay, so once that's done, we are defining this reward model to score completions with of course uh, you would definitely need a reward model for online dpu as i explained earlier and this is where our training and eval data set is i'm just giving it this prompt and sample but of course you can just just replace it with your own data set here and then we are just calling our online dpu trainer with the model reference reward r tokenizer and all the usual stuff and then we are running the training so once i start it you will see it is going to prepare our data set and then from there it is going to map it and then get our models there you go so it has started the training it's a very small data set so it should be fairly quick i believe and this is how you do the online dpo so the main thing here is that to understand around this reward model and this stuff and then getting your data set and this is how easy it becomes once you understand that uh, how you should prepare your data set how should you just put a reward model and of course you can select different models for this one maybe you could have llama 3.1 70 billion one as a reward model so that your performance of the fine-tuned model would be more superior 
and there you go the fine tuning is done it is giving you the statistics around it that what was the training loss which has come down how much was the train runtime epochs and all that stuff now if you want to see your new model which is fine tuned just go to your uh, terminal maybe i'll just open a new one and then just deactivate my original base model base coda and then go to trl if you do ls here you will see that there should be directory called as online dpo model if you do ls there should be a checkpoint yep and this is your model file with all the tokenizer config.json and your models save tensors here and then there is also some other json files with vocabulary and stuff so this is how you create a new fine-tuned model from your own data set by using this online dpo which seems quite promising new fine tuning technique so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thanks for watching